often overlooked are some of the weird and wacky shirts worn by goalkeepers. Yeah, they might feature on some of the outrageous kit lists, but today's shirt of the day is going to bring you an up-close look at some of the lesser-seen goalkeeping shirts and styles. And there's two contrasting images when thinking of historical goalkeeper kits. The large woolly polo neck sweater, famously worn by the likes of Bert Troutman, or there's the second look that's the more tight-fitting athletic cotton shirt, famously worn by the likes of Lev Yashin in an intimidating all-black kit worn during his time as number one for the USSR. But the modern view of garish goalkeeping designs was infamously pioneered by the likes of Jorge Campos, always worn in a baggy style, he never seemed to sport the same jersey two games running in the early 1990s. Who in fact signed an agreement with the manufacturer Umbro to produce his own designs of shirts, because interestingly, even as late as the 1990s, some goalkeepers actually played in team wear from different brands. Often because goalkeepers would sign deals with glove manufacturers, as witnessed here by Roma in the early 90s, whose kits were manufactured by Adidas, but the goalkeeping kits being manufactured by Allsport. But early on in this decade, Arsenal sported this shirt, which really highlights how goalkeeper technology was viewed back in the day. With large padding on both shoulders and forearms, the design was typically early 90s. Busy, vibrant, with only a nod to taste and style, and let's not forget, this was worn when goalkeepers traditionally still wore the shorts and socks of the kit the team was playing in. One of the lesser seen shirts is this 97-98 goalkeeper shirt which was worn by Vita Bayer when Barcelona achieved the La Liga Copa del Rey double, which features an utterly unique design element. Vita Bayer's name designed into the shirt itself. With players' loyalty to clubs in the 21st century only lasting a few seasons, Barcelona literally put their heart in their sleeve by honouring not only their number one keeper, but their other goalkeepers, such as Ruud Hesp as well. Adidas were famous in the mid-90s for particularly outrageous shirts, none more so than the Newcastle 1997 goalkeeper shirt, which has gone down as legend for its amazing silhouetted skyline of the city, which was also used to lesser effect on the Glasgow Rangers goalkeeper shirt the same season. This shirt arguably began the trend of getting the more outrageous designed goalkeeping shirts to be more stylish, if not still uniquely designed, as the main home and away kits. So how do the modern goalkeeping shirts compare? Well, it's common practice for all big manufacturers to simply have two to three shirt templates on offer for the teams to pick as their goalkeeping jerseys. But if you ask us, we can't help but miss those bright garish designs from the 90s. But what do you think? Get in touch with us on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram and let us know what your favourite goalkeeping shirt is and we'll see you on tomorrow's shirt of the day.